Hello, and welcome to The Marketing Trifecta, aligning your strategy to save time and money. I'd like to start with a short introduction. My name is Christy Copeland. I'm a marketing specialist, consultant, and analyst with Third Level Consulting. I also own Champions Choice Consulting and support local businesses here in my area in Michigan, primarily through our local Chamber of Commerce and also Child Activity Centers through Third Level Consulting. I owned Grand Blake Gymnastics in Michigan for 19 years and was a longtime client of Third Level before I transitioned into consulting for them about three years ago. I am married with a couple of kids and we have a dog, Bamboo, there in the picture. I also have a picture with my mom and my husband and I. We travel a lot together. We were at Olympic trials in St. Louis in that picture. We also have a kind of unique setup where we commute back and forth from Michigan to Illinois, but primarily located in the Midwest. I just love coaching now that I'm coaching businesses and not kids anymore. I was a Jackrabbit client when I owned the gym, but just love Jackrabbit and all the efforts that they put forth to allow for collaboration between businesses and to work together to just make our industry better every day. So we're going to cover just a ton of material today. And also we have other third level consultants presenting. If you would like to receive a copy of this presentation and the others, text JR3LC to 208-969-8199. And we'll make sure we get you copies of all the presentations from this event. Just those letters and numbers, JR3LC to that number. And we'll show that again at the end as well, in case you didn't get a chance to get that written down. But I'll pause for just a second and take a quick drink so you can write that number down if you need it. Okay, so before we get into the deep dive into the marketing and the online presence, just wanted to make sure that all strategy is based on your four primary items for owning and operating your business. Your mission, which is really the now, the current objectives, your vision, the future, where will you be in five years, 10 years down the road, your purpose, your why, what's your meaning, what's your significance beyond just your financial success and your business values, and then your actual values, your fundamental beliefs that drive your business decisions, behaviors, and culture. So now we'll talk about marketing a little bit. Here I have the marketing definition from the American Marketing Association, and it is the activity set of institutions and processes for creating, communicating, delivering, and exchanging offerings that have value for customers, clients, partners, and society at large. So when thinking about marketing, you want to think about some of these key questions. Who do you want to connect with? Where will your potential clients find you? And what is your message? And at third level, we have success steps that represent all of the primary components of a successful business. Market Smart is one of the eight success steps. We have People Smart, Finance Smart, Risk Smart, Facility Smart, and even more that break down each of those primary areas into eight individual components. And then inside of eight components, there's all of the detail. There are courses and all kinds of things within a third level membership that allow you to learn more about each of the areas and be your business best. So during this presentation, we are going to talk about your online presence, some about social communication, some about PR a little bit, and then overall marketing strategy. Now, before we dig into the presence, let's talk about the key elements of marketing strategy or any strategy for that matter, where, the how, and the action. So for marketing, we're going to define the market, define your market segments, assess your customers' needs and values, and then prioritize based on which are most important to you for the success of your business. Then how? Taking a look at your competition, your competitive advantage over the competition, what your capabilities are, your unique product offerings, what investment is needed to get you to that revenue potential. And then the actions you need to take, the gaps you need to fill, the roadmap you need to follow to get there, the communication plan, and how you will track and monitor. So as we get into the digital side, you always want to cover your digital assets. Number one, remember there are items that you control and own, and there are items that are not in your control. So you control and own your website, your domain, 
your email list, social media, you don't really own. You own the content that you've put out there that you've saved elsewhere, but the items that are out of your control are the social media and search engine algorithm changes, rule changes, policy changes. You know, if you're heavily reliant on Facebook and they change something tomorrow that doesn't allow you to do what you do today, you have to have a plan in place for that. We're going to talk a little bit about all these different things today. So when it comes to your website, the biggest thing for anybody new is to remember there's a 10 second rule and maybe it's even a five second rule. Now, our attention spans get shorter and shorter. So making sure that when someone lands on your website right away, they know what benefit you provide to them, why they should sign up for your program, why they should join your business, why they should visit you. If they can't figure that out in under 10 seconds, you've lost that potential client. So making sure it's very clear on your homepage and then also that that user experience is easy, easy to navigate, that they can sign up easily, they can contact you easily, that your page is up to date, that you don't have events that are you know, years ago, months ago, over, and that if you have something that you're featuring, that's a great way to stay at the top of search engine optimization. So if you have summer camps or a fall open house or something going on over the holidays, making sure at your homepage, you have some kind of banner that comes across before the first fold on the page. So that person visiting your site can see your top featured item at that time. Also error-free. An error-free website is critical as well. When choosing your social media platform, you want to take several things into account. We're going to talk a lot about the different platforms and what they have available to you, but think about your demographic, which we're going to talk about who's on what platform, the engagement factors that you prefer to use. Do you use photos? Do you use video? How do you do live events? You know, what is your engagement factor? The usage of your demographic your strengths. So if you're not a person that's like fabulous at video, then you probably don't want to be on a platform that relies solely on video, like a TikTok. So, and then the time that you have, who is doing your social, how much time you have to do it. And we're going to talk about some things to make that really efficient, but those are things to consider when you're deciding on which platforms to use. This next one, now I don't even have to put words on the screen. Google, right? Everyone knows, everyone recognizes that G easily. So Google has so many different things and you have to make sure that you are playing properly in the Google space. Number one, the building that looks like it has an awning on the front, that's your Google My Business. Critical to have your Google My Business claimed, updated, and to update that when you're updating your social media at least on some kind of pattern or frequency to keep things up to date. But besides that, you have to think about all of the different things that Google has to offer. In the green section, I have the Google map icon. One thing to remember is that reviews are seen by Google as a higher, I guess, priority if someone is doing their Google review from the Google map. So that is something to keep in mind. The other items in the yellow section are all the different analytics and tools that Google has for you to monitor your website as far as web traffic, who's getting to the website, what pages they're getting to. The red arrow represents Google Trends, which helps you for social posting. And the blue little icon with the wrench represents Search Console, which can tell you if anything is causing your website to not hit search engine optimization when people are trying to find you. Now, the Google Analytics side is your website analytics. Google My Business also has insights where if someone's landing on that Google business image, which is off to the right of the screen. When you search for a business, you'll see the list of websites come up and then the business come up on the side. People feel more linked to that. Like they know that's really you. And so they might click your website from there. They might click to call you directly from there for directions. And you actually can see those insights to see how people are using that Google My Business 
as well as your website. So here we're going to look at some usage and high level demographics. And this is a lot on the screen. So again, I'm gonna stop, take a quick drink and let you take a look at the demographics that are out here. So some people will say, oh, Facebook is old news. Facebook is not old news and Facebook has 2.9 billion people on it, depending on two to 2.9, depending on which source you refer to. You can see the demographics are all very similar. It's a younger age group. Pinterest has actually come down significantly. It used to be an older age group. Every single channel is growing. Look at that daily usage column. People are using those channels. LinkedIn does not report on daily usage in minutes. They actually report on percentage usage and they've grown substantially as well. And that's more for like community involvement. How do you want to present yourself in the community? LinkedIn is great for that. And they say 63% of LinkedIn users are on the platform on a weekly basis. So that's a, a lot of people. And get this, average social media use 151 minutes per day. That's up from 144 minutes per day just a couple of years ago. 82 to 90%, depending on what source you go to, of North Americans are on social media and the average person has seven different seven different social channels that they use or look into. So this is what this is saying is you find what fits you, your needs, your time, and then focus in on those one to three channels, I would say, that fit you best and that are easiest for you to have up to date and current all the time. I'm going to show you one more chart, which isn't the most amazing resolution because it is from um, Sprout Social, which out a, puts out a great report each year. And Insider Intelligence provided this chart just showing the growth of the different platforms from 2021 to their projection in 2025. So just it, saying the same thing, but they're saying, you know, Facebook as of right now has 2.1 billion users. Facebook says they have 2.9. Sometimes the numbers are a little bit off, but really this is just showing the channels continue to grow. And the thing to think about is some generations started with Facebook and they'll grow up on Facebook. Some generations started with Instagram. Some started with TikTok. And so the reason the TikTok demographic has shifted so much is because once someone's on TikTok, they're going to stay with TikTok. Should they like it and enjoy using that platform? So, but the thing to keep it, Facebook still continues to grow. There are certain things that make Facebook useful for many people. Things like marketplace that aren't available necessarily on other channels. So Facebook still is a great place to to consider using. And then when you use Facebook, you can use Facebook and Instagram together by using the meta business suite. So that kind of allows you the chance to use two platforms and provide information at the same time. Again, saving your valuable time. Before you think about what channels to use, you have to think about your message. And having a message that is effective, clear, and concise is so important as it establishes your reputation. It's worth way more than paid content. It's more than just your planned content. And it's anywhere you can be found. And the thing to remember, it can come from sources you do not control. So I'll talk about this again later because it's so important to make sure that you do an extensive amount of staff training on when staff is posting related to your business and also their personal because they are a representation of your business to those families who rely on you for services. The other thing to make sure you're considering, sorry, I have some notes off to the side. This is my first time recording something like this. So if you see me reaching over, I'm flipping pages to make sure I try to cover everything I can as quickly as possible as we don't have a ton of time here today. So I'll let you take a look at this. Knowing your different markets and segmentation by geographic, Demographic, psychographic, and behavioral, very important. It's valuable for Facebook ads and local marketing especially. And the one thing that's great, third level provides a amazing, fantastic demographic report for all 
levels of membership beyond our intro access, which isn't a membership, but all of our levels of membership can get a demographic report once a year. And we also offer a complete market analysis, which is great for moving forward if you want to do paid advertising. So moving into, I have digital in brackets there because it's what digital marketing strategies work, but this is what marketing strategies work anywhere. Out in the community, with other people, face-to-face, -face, Lead Magnet is probably the biggest one. It's a product or service that's provided in exchange for contact information of a potential client. So on your website, maybe you're going to provide some healthier nutrition tips, some backyard trampoline safety, something like that. They could give you their email address to get that downloadable uh, in person. Maybe you're at an event and they can spin the wheel to win a birthday party or dollars off a class. And then you get their information so you can continue to reach out to them to turn them from a prospect into a client. Short videos are great online. Storytelling, people love to feel engaged with a story. We have a whole entire workshop on how to be a great storyteller. Being personalized, live chat, and now there's a lot of chat bots available, which are getting better and better. And then again, like I mentioned before, the segmentation and knowing who exactly you are targeting to bring into your business. So we talked a little bit about this already, but this is mainly in here to think about all those different ways that you can find the ideal client. And just a few are listed here. There are obviously hundreds, if not thousands, but face-to-face, -face, you've got your location, events, community, charitable, and school, referrals, making sure you really are using a referral program to its fullest, in both online and face-to-face. -face. You have your website, search engines, social media, paid ads, other things like radio, TV, billboards, what other things you may do. So making sure you always think all encompassing about all the ways that you can find your ideal client. Now moving into the what to post and when. So content, make sure it has value. I'm going to use something from one of the companies I've worked with here in town. He is a heating and cooling company. He sent me a post. He thought it was great. I had no idea what it even was. It was a air purifier. But I said to the person outside, do they know what an air, do they know why it's great? Tell me what, and things like, you don't just want to put out there like happy Earth Day. Thinking about Earth Day, he could have talked about how he could save you energy, save efficiency. If, if you are a company that has done a lot for sustainability, recycling, when you're talking about Earth Day, talk about ways that your clients can help save Mother Earth, and then also ways that you've done things in the community to help save our Earth, just as one example. So content that has value, your important events, accomplishments, and reminders. Planned, frequency is good to be two to three times a week at a minimum. Some post more and some say as much as 21 times a week, but two to three at a minimum that keeps you out there. The day and time, if you use the Meta Planner, it will show you when your clients are most active and most likely to see your posts. And then some people use a paid tool like Hootsuite, but that meta planner, you can hit Facebook and Instagram together and that will save you time. And then also planning ads around when you have events coming up. The other thing, the reason I say to keep that plan frequency a little lower is because you should have three to four times a month that you have the organic in the moment. Maybe you go live, maybe you have a great accomplishment that you want to share for one of your staff members or something like that. And that's not necessarily planned, but that is in the moment type posting. And then the most important thing is what works and what doesn't. Monitoring and analytics. So online, you need to be monitoring the items that we talked about for your website, your social media, your Google content, both your content and as I have it as a separate bullet, the social content and channels of others to see where you're mentioned, who's talking about you, those types of things, what the return on investment is versus what you're spending, the rules and algorithms that may change along the way. Also email, your email marketing, how is it working? How is the response? Are your emails getting delivered? All of those different things come into play as well. Your referrals and referral systems. And 
many more, but these are the top things to make sure you're keeping track of at least on a monthly, if not a weekly basis. So next steps, we got to wrap it up because we're running out of time. You need to understand how your customer perceives your business. Clarity wins. If you confuse, you lose. That's in the words of Donald Miller's story brand. That's a lot of my training on messaging comes from him. And it, it, he is exceptional in getting across a clear message. Know your markets using segmentation. You can increase your organic leads with very small tweaks to your content, telling stories, connecting. So when you're out at an event, you have a planned post for that event. You have live at that event. Connecting those local and online marketing and sitting down and doing a plan each month is going to be great for being efficient and saving you time, using your analytics to make your decisions going forward. If you need some help, we are here to help. I would be happy to review your marketing strategy with you. Take a look at your website, your social media, whatever you need to look at. And so we have myself and a couple other marketing professionals on the third level team. We would be happy to help for anyone that would like to take a look at, have us take a look at your marketing and how you can improve and save time and grow your enrollment. All the different things that come into marketing, internal marketing as well, grow your staff, improve your staff loyalty. All of those things are available through third level. And we do have a special here also. We have three marketing webinars with all the downloads. Also, we have a free workshop that we did on creating your message. You can get that all for $37 on the third level consulting page in our online catalog. But if you would like to also add a one hour private coaching session, which normally costs $225 an hour, you can get all three webinars plus an hour of coaching plus a half hour to 45 minute discovery call to actually analyze your marketing all for $197. So we are here for you and are here to help with whatever you need. So again, next steps. Text that JR3LC to that number. We will set up a complimentary marketing review if you would like and no purchase necessary. We can spend 30 to 45 minutes taking a look at your marketing today and give you ideas and you walk away with that for free. And then if you do decide, we do have memberships, we have other on-demand plans to maximize your marketing strategy. So we're here to help. And thank you again for joining me today and all of the others at this conference. And thanks again to Jackrabbit.